Mr. Investor, welcome back to the channel, baby. Today we're going to be talking about everything genomics. What is going on in the genomic industry? Because bingo is up. Ooh, nearly 4%. And Vite is up a little bit, even Pack B up a little bit of percentage. But I believe the main reason is this. There were some juicy results for this CRISPR editing therapy trial. So it was Antilia and Regeneron announcing a landmark clinical data showing deep reduction in disease causing proteins. The disease is known as ATTR amyloidosis. So basically ATTR amyloidosis is a protein misfolding disorder. So there's a protein called transthyretin. This is a protein that is made by the liver and it helps you carry the thyroid hormone and vitamin A into the blood. However in ATTR amyloidosis the protein deposits in the heart and the nerves or other organs and tissues. This can cause a whole host of symptoms and it can affect all parts of the body. So you could get carpal tunnel syndrome, you can get stomach and intestine problems like bloating, gas, poor appetite, diarrhea. So when you take a look at the normally folded protein over here and you can see the misfolded protein the amyloid it can fold into these amyloid fibrils and deposit itself in your heart in your nerves in your organs so this company Intelia Therapeutics has made the whole genomic industry boom up today they're up actually 43%, 51% now, goodness gracious. This is because of the CRISPR genetic editing technique. They've created NTLA-2001 and what it's done is reduce the amount of transthyretin. They actually managed to reduce the amount of levels by 87%. And during that 28 day trial, there were some people with as much as 96% reduction, no serious adverse events observed in the first six patients by day 28. And this is some of the statements they've said. These are the first ever clinical data suggesting we can precisely edit target cells within the body to treat genetic disease with a single intravenous infusion of CRISPR. So why would this also be good news for bionanogenomics? Well, Cytopia is coming, Cytopia is here. For genetic editing companies, in order for them to have record breakthroughs, they need to locate what they need to genetically edit. Cytopia dedicated to seeing the truth of the genome structure. Structural variations can play a significant role in many different diseases, not only in terms of getting critical diagnosis for patients, for genetic disease, but they also play an important role in cancer. So structural variations drive tumor development through their effects on cancer genes. So in order to genetically edit some of these genes, you are gonna need a machine that can basically locate all of these structural variants. And in Cytopia, the Sapphire, structural variants have nowhere to hide. So so imagine this is just one trial for one disease and they're up 52%, even greater now, 55%. So what do you think the impact of bio nanogenomics will have on the industry if they're able to look at structural variations and locate structural variations that no one else is able to find for so many different comorbidities? What about progressive diseases like dementia, Alzheimer's, diabetes, and so many different genetic disorders around the world? So now we can see this company, Intelia, is booming. Bio nanogenomics is currently working on global adoption of the sapphire machine and we're moving into some key markets in new geographic locations so we're moving into south africa getting optical genome mapping actually written into the guidelines we've got sales in greece russia south korea and you can see we've got it in very important clinical sites including the nhs in the uk and germany and this investor place article was actually talking about our accelerated growth they were talking about strong revenue growth saying that judging from the data the answer is definitely yes this is strong revenue growth. For Bionana's first quarter of 2021, we had company revenues of $3.2 million. That's 170% year over year improvement. Not only that, but we have a juicy cash position of $362 million. And this was really good when the BTIG analyst Sung Ji Nam, this lovely lady Sung Ji Nam is actually the managing director and life science and diagnostics tool analyst at BTIG. So who is BTIG Group? According to their LinkedIn, they are a global financial services firm specializing in institutional trading, investment banking, research and related brokerage services. So Sung Ji Nam is one of the best analysts and she was actually named an All-American Research Team Rising Star by an institutional investor in 2011. But that's not enough, let's look at her track record. Well she stated Bio Nanogenomics is a buyer with 32.98% upsides. She gave a rating of $10 but her track record, let's take a look at this, she's had an average return of 22.4%. Her success rate is 72%, so 112 out of 156 ratings were successful and oh, oh oh she's 420 baby she's ranked 420 out of 7572 analysts on tip ranks oh that ain't bad that ain't bad at all so what has she said about bingo, bio nanogenomics? She believes that bingo is on the cusp of disrupting the cytogenetics testing market. This is served by traditional techniques of karyotyping, microarray, fish techniques. But this is what is interesting. It represents a bingo estimated near term 
This is a near-term total addressable market of $700 million to $1 billion. And people wonder why, why the stock price doesn't move this and that. They're always releasing studies driven by an expanding body of clinical evidence supporting the high accuracy and superior workflow efficiency of Bingo's optical genome mapping technology. Those studies are gonna be what drives large-scale adoption and curiosity by many people who are researching. We have people from Harvard, we have people here in the UK. And remember, prestigious hospitals in the UK, part of the National Health Service. We're talking about King's College London. They believe that the Sapphire machine allows for them to have timely identification of genomic structural variants. And this is vital for providing diagnostic, prognostic, and treatment decisions for hematological malignancies, blood cancers. So what does BT TIGC, they believe it's well positioned to replace multiple traditional cytogenetic tools. They also saw that it was being used by King's College Hospital in London and the NHS Regional Genetics Laboratory in Belfast, but also widespread across the world, they're getting optical genome mapping written into the guidelines in South Africa. Loads of analysts, the one I was showing you previously on Chart Mills, they believe that Bingo is well positioned to significantly accelerate its revenue growth over the next several years. So now if we go back to tip ranks, let's take a look at Bingo. These guys are off offering a 12 month price target with 52% upside from the current price of $11.50. Some analysts on a higher saying it could hit $14, some on the lower saying $10. All four analysts are rating it a strong buy. There's a lot of things we're currently working on and more research is going to come out. I actually got an email as well from over in Finland. But before we go into Finland, let's take a look at Norway. Cisco Trader has said that Bingo has sold a unit to Oslo University Hospital in Norway. This was back in May 2021, providing further proof they don't have competition. Shout out to Victor. Thank you very much for sending this to me. He said, hey, been following you for a while and been a shareholder for BioNano. He found this in the Finnish news. He's from Finland. It's basically a study they were looking into the human genetic architecture of C19 worldwide. Within the academic article is talking about C19 host genetics initiative, all of the study partners across the world. There's so many different studies popping up and they're all sharing together including the UK 100,000 genomes project. Look on the map here you can see there are hundreds and hundreds of people across the world who are participating in this and they're helping map out all the different variants and the genetic predisposition to C19. Also this is for one so what happens when people start to share genomic data you know using 23andMe, using BioNanoGenomics, using Illumina. Everybody shares the data on predispositions for disease such as cancer, diabetes, dementia. We ourselves are part of one of the biggest studies on C19 with this consortium. So we're part of the C19 Host Genomic Structural Variation Consortium with lots of different members who are currently using the Sapphire. These can be universities as far as the UK, Nottingham, loads over in America including Boston's Children's Hospital, the Rockefeller University, even over there in the Philippines, UP Diliman, Quezon City. Bang bang, Philippines. I wanted to show you this as well. 23andMe operate by charging customers to discover more about their genome. In the future, this will Likely be reversed as the public begin to realize the true value of their genetic data. So how much is your genome worth? There was people conducting a study and this was in 2020 this study. 50% of the participants would be willing to sell their genetic data for an average of $95. There are billions of people in this world. Can you imagine a billion people selling their data at $95? So right now companies are collecting data free of charge. The NHS is currently actually under a bit of scrutiny. Five hours ago here you can see the BBC reported NHS data sale in Somerset, a place in England, an invasion of privacy. NHS Somerset says it will supply a patient's age range, gender, and first part of their postcodes. But this is general data. We're talking about genomic data. My face has been cut out, guys, because we're on The Guardian. But basically, a few weeks ago, we had this too, where general practices, GP practices in England, have been instructed to hand over their patients' entire medical histories. And here you can see that they've reported this means that in practice, all your GP interactions, starting from the time you were born, and including many of the most intimate details of your life, are at risk of being indirectly sold to corporations. So with some participants of that survey willing to be paid $95 for their genetic data, it's probably worth a whole lot more. Especially since the genomic industry is expected to grow rapidly, the market is projected to grow from $27.81 billion in 2021 to $94.6 billion in 2028. So it's going to have a compounded annual growth rate of 19.4% 
during those years. There's so much data to collect and this data can help with diagnostics, research, and it can also be used by not only research industries and healthcare facilities, but pharma and biotech companies. So I believe bio-nanogenomics has a great future ahead. Always remember this is not financial advice, this is for entertainment only, but I'm buying bio-nanogenomics each week. As soon as the paycheck hits, I'm buying a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And my price target for bio-nanogenomics in you know, five to eight years time is probably $100 a share, especially if we can break into the sequencing market with our nano nozzle patent technology. Remember in 2020, they were talking about a little bit of this, a little bit of that. The patent describes how such nano detector could detect DNA sequence information. Never forget the option and sub license agreement between Pacific Biosciences and Bio Nano Genomics. This was effective as of 2016 February. So this allows Bio Nano to obtain a non exclusive sub license to such patents that are controlled by PacBio in order to develop, manufacture, and have manufactured commercially exploit products in the territory of the mapping field, as well as an option to obtain a royalty bearing sub license to patents in the territory of the sequencing field. They said Bio Nanogenomics was not a sequencing company, but here we have it in an SEC filing that we may be pushing into it with our nano nozzle. Well, not only the nano nozzle, but we can also just grab the sub license to create products from PacBio's list of intellectual property. Breaking down the terminology they've put here as well, sequencing field shall mean detecting and sequentially identifying each nucleotide of a sequence. And under that sub license, we are allowed to import, make, have made, use, offer for sale and sell products and services solely in the sequencing field. PacBio hereby grants BioNano. You have the option to exercise, baby. And always remember, genetic editing companies are gonna need BioNano genomics to locate those structural variations. And with this Sapphire machine, they're gonna be able to do it faster and cheaper than ever. And for BioNano, this consumable sales means lots of recurring revenue. Just wanted to remind you, none of this is financial advice, it's for entertainment only. Thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna be editing this video, then I'm gonna shoot off to work. If you're able to support my channel, please do it's only 99 cents and if everybody was able to support the channel i could literally just make content full time click the join button up here it's only 99 cents a month but if you're unable to just hit that like and subscribe button it's enough for me thank you so much i love you guys and i'll see you in the next video mr Investalot, over and out baby